If you play games on a PC, chances are you use Steam. And as good of a software as it is, it does have some bugs and problems that you can run into from time to time. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candido Technology and in this video we're talking about the ROTMG authentication or authorization issue that you might sometimes experience on Steam. So the Steam ROTMG authorization issue can be caused by uh, four major factors. You might be having missing or invalid game files. You may have internet connectivity issues. You may be experiencing a Steam outage or you might just not have opted into Steam's beta participation for ROTMG. Now, the last error isn't really going to be a problem by the time you're seeing this video, but we'll still look at how you can fix it. The first thing that you need to do is uh, essentially restart your router or like recheck your internet connection and then check whether or not Steam servers are working. So to do that, just open up your web browser and uh, head over to this Steam status website, which is steamstat.us. And uh, you'll be able to see whether or not Steam services are running. Uh, in whichever region that you are so all of your servers this is a uh, more game specific but it still gives you a good idea of whether or not steam is up and running so as you can see steam store community and web api are all online connection managers are working as expected everything is good to go so it's not an outage that's causing the issue So the next thing for you to try out is uh, Steam's beta participation. To do that, let's just launch Steam first. Uh, in here, head over to Steam and then settings. Now uh, head over to the interface section and you will see client beta participation right here. Now what you have to do is just under no beta chosen, you can uh, either select the Steam beta update or the Steam families beta. Uh, unless you're using their family sharing functions, we recommend that you go ahead with the Steam beta update. Uh, choose it, Steam will update itself and restart and that should fix your problem. Lastly, as I said, corrupt or missing game files can also cause this issue. So just head over to Steam and go to your library. Uh, in here, select whatever game you're having problems with. Right click it, head over to manage and uh, or actually properties and in here head over to installed files and you will have the verify this game files are installed correctly and then this verify integrity of game files button click on this let steam do its thing and uh, your game should be up and running without any problems if you like these videos consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website, Canada.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter, and we'll see you in the next video.